one origin of the word religion is the bond between humans and gods. And music is my religion. <laughs> Thank you. Nobel Peace Prize recipient Bob Dylan suggests that we're not really here to find ourselves, we're here to create ourselves. So here's a little art project. You're born a girl into a family of six brothers. You're the most petite and second youngest of the bunch. And in this family, men are worth more than women. And life is full of good food, football, sarcasm, a lot of creativity, a little bit more football, uh, a little bit of you know, adventure, and a little more football. So what do you do, and who do you create? Another scenario, you're driving home near midnight, and the moon keeps pace with you as you twist and turn down a two-laner through the gorge, and the Rio Grande races you like a hot rod, and you're gripping the steering wheel, and you're feeling blessed to be alive, and you start tapping and humming, and you pull over by the river's edge, and you write these words down. So do you go home and find chords for it, or do you just sing it the way you found it? If to you I seem distant, I'm not the only one. Sometimes I feel like I'm coming undone. But I don't want you to worry, I love you too much. All I need is something simple like the warmth of your touch. So won't you jump into me, swim to the back of my heart. Where the beat drills deeper and the blood is red hot. Where the sound of the moon is the sound of the stars. And everything is simple as the sun as the sun everything is simple as the sun heaven is the place where the color of fear is the color of me wanting you to be near and if i opened up my heart enough to let you inside would it feel like something in me had just folded up and died i'd have to jump into me swim to the back of my heart where the beat drills deeper and the blood is red hot where the sound of the moon is the sound of the stars and everything is simple as the sun, as the sun, everything is simple as the sun. But what would I do with an open heart? How could I pretend to falter? How could I even pretend to fall apart when everything I thought I knew just fell right through and left us wide open, all alone with the truth? I'd have to jump into me and swim to the back of my heart where the beat drills deeper and the blood is red hot, where the sound of the moon is the sound of the stars. And everything is simple as the sun, as the sun. Everything is simple as the sun. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to jump, swim, my drill, blood hot. And though the moon is hot, and everything is simple. Sun as the sun, simple. Thank you. So by the age of three, I'm already enmeshed with music. I am sitting on the living room floor with 45s and shiny black 33s and 78s, and now you know how old I am. And uh, my mother provides all this music. It's music from around the world. And this is where I live. I live in nature and in music. By age 11, I'm playing the bass pedals to the organ with my feet. I'm strumming the guitar. And I'm blowing the melody to Blue Bayou on a harmonica held in place by a twisted up coat hanger. <laughs> I didn't know they made those brackets. I was only 11. So um, 30 years later, I start wondering about the bigger picture and the bigger questions like, what happened to my ancestors? Like, what happened back there? And what happened to their ancestors and theirs before them? Because all of our trees, our family trees, go back 60,000 years or more. And I wondered, um, where were we before we were born? And I wondered, 
how can I cultivate grace in the face of all the pain in the world? of your wildest dreams I was torn and round and round this world I flew breaking free breaking through just a circle you and falling in to a fiery sea oh, Tumbling towards you My wings melted free And numbness disappeared And gone was all control And I became a human child I became whole And I feel you in stillness I feel you in my veins I feel you disguised as a thin layer of pain And I feel you and I know the color of your name and I feel you, and I feel you, and you never feel the same. Because it takes courage to become a human child. It takes courage to become a human child. It takes courage to become a human child. feel you walking on the ground inside of me yeah. I will swallow sweet granules of grace whenever a tear kisses the contours of your face and it takes courage to become a human child it takes courage to become a human child It takes courage Oh yeah Courage Courage to become a human child So my freshman year in college, my family falls apart. And one February morning, I am in my bathrobe and slippers, and it's about 8 AM, and I have to run out of the house that I rented because it burns to the ground immediately. And I barely get out with my life. I'm in shock for months, and uh, I'm alone, and no one notices, not even me. But by mid-May, I'm wearing an entirely different costume. I've got on long underwear. I have bib rubber overalls on. I have a full-length raincoat with a hood. I have a black stocking cap, and I have white cotton gloves. I'm standing on the deck of my brother's boat, 
and I'm holding a 14-foot bamboo pole with an aluminum cup stuck on the end. And it's my job as an Alaskan fishing plunging job to plunge that plunger into the water and pull it out and repeatedly do that. The bubbles and the slap and the sound scares the fish into the net while the lead lines are being drawn in. This is a 14-hour workday in the rain, and it rains 24-7 for about six weeks. And after that, I, it's my job to cook dinner for a crew of five in our tiny handmade houseboat. I lose most of my Boston accent, and I forget I ever had a life before this one. Most everybody around me is smoking something, drinking something, doing something, snorting something. I don't know what they're doing. And um, I'm teased because my body can't tolerate any of that, so I don't do that, and so I'm like the odd person out. So by mid-October, it's post-fishing season, my brother straps his houseboat to the side of his Boston whaler, and we drag it sideways across some of the roughest oceans on the earth to an uninhabited island. And there's a lagoon on that island about the size of this room, and we tie up the houseboat to the, to the trees there. My brother gets back in his skiff, he says, I'll be back in a month, and he leaves me there. So I'm alone, and I forage for clams and mushrooms, and uh, I get water from a pipe that's coming out of a stream, and I collect firewood, and I avoid the 13-foot grizzly bear that shows up to forage in my lagoon. I don't want to see him. I see his footprints, but I don't want to see him. So this is, I'm 18. This life is normally like this. This is like what I got used to. So after he comes back from his jaunt in the city, um, I get the heck out of there, and I go back to Massachusetts, and I go to school, back to school. And I never really felt wanted by anyone, I, I, and including, well, maybe the, maybe the grizzly bear one. <laughs> Matter of fact, life is like a grizzly bear to me. I want to avoid it, I don't want to look it in the eye. <laughs> and so, um, so I go to school, and I eat up two years of jazz and classical studies. Uh, the jazz department accepts me, the classical department does not. I'm left with one year of college and no major. So, I invent one, and I call it Right and Left Brain Studies Through Performing Arts and Management. I never really knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. I actually didn't think I'd live long enough to grow up at all. When I grow up, I want to be an angel. I want to fly away. I want to watch over every little baby. When I grow up, someday. When I get weary and I feel so small. And I can barely stand on my own. of the world away until then I'm gonna walk by the river knowing my thirst for you will be broken oh when I'm an angel oh when I'm an angel For a long, long time Battered by rage Warmed by your love I just want to rest easy In the shelter from the storm Before my wings carry me away Be 
You will know I'm gone when the rain starts coming. Water like promises over the ground. Until then, I'm gonna walk by the river, knowing my thirst for you will be broken, broken. Whoa. So eight years as a bassist in every, every possible cover band you can imagine later, my dad passes away and my psyche splits. And I decide I'm done being a parrot playing other people's music with a bunch of men. So I go to the desert, that's right. I go right to the desert and I sit and I mess around with words and music and I start to write songs with silence, sound. And I redefine my world for myself and my place in it. Now there are stories about drug addiction, uh, alcoholism, unwanted children, divorces, serial relationships, but these are not my stories. The only thing I've ever been addicted to are my own crappy thoughts about myself, planted in my mind when I was a child by imperfect people. Music transforms those thoughts into something better. Music is my medicine. It lifts me, it holds me, it connects me. I'm currently in the middle of two projects that I'm really proud of. I'm glad to tell you about, I have a concert series going through 119 elements of the periodic table. <laughs> so it actually combines the right and left brain right there. And um, we take one element a month and we, we explore it as if it's a person. This takes place in the oldest church in America. Um, and, that, and it might take me 10 years to complete and I'm fine with that. My own music has earned me a two-year tour around the world in five countries, and I do 150 shows, and it takes me years to recover from that. The second project I'm working on is a project of spoken word over music. I'm reciting poetry. There's a violin and um, Middle Eastern drumming, and I am playing Japanese koto, Native American style flute, and Egyptian oud. I want to tell you about my mother and my ancestors on her side because she's a Lithuanian, and in the middle 80s up to 1991, Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia, the Baltic states, they got their freedom from Russia because they sang as a country. They gathered together in large arenas, 30,000 people, and they sang their songs of their country together. And Russia noticed this and said, we're never gonna break these people, and they, and they let them go and as a republic. This story is called The Singing Revolution, and you can watch a movie about it online. I can hear my mother cheering me on. <laughs> and she, when my cousin asks her what kind of music I play, she says, well, it's not row, row, row your boat. <laughs> it's not the best review I've gotten, but it is my favorite. <laughs> Looking back, do we, do we ever really, really know for certain without a without a doubt, where true power and creativity comes from. Well, do you have a heartbeat? 
Can you feel it right now? Can you feel your heart beating right now? It's music, isn't it? One day the blue, blue sky fell down And somewhere it's fallen still I was born a river A river with no will And I'm tumbling toward the sea right now With eternity God's a pipsqueak Forever fought for Forever framed And heaven's just an ivory tower Where no one is to blame Nothing lasts forever When you haven't got the time haven't met a mole hill yet that wasn't worth the climb. Bear with me, I'm not done yet. I can tell you've had enough. And I have had more than my share and I'm tired of being tough. Everyone's a baby, a tiny diamond inside a pearl. And where you swear you saw a lightning bolt stands a little girl. Everyone's a baby, a tiny diamond inside a pearl. And where you swear you saw a lightning bolt stands a little girl. Thank you, that's all I have. <laughs>